Well, let's get started. But first of all, uh, most certainly the fun part of this is the, is the contest and announcing the winners and uh, paying attention to the great stuff the kids have done. Uh, but before we start that, uh, every year we uh, give a little report to the people of the city and ask them to think about water conservation. Uh, so uh, if you will be patient with us just for a couple of minutes, we'll, we'll go through that exercise. Uh, but the principal business of the day is the contest, and I want to thank the Lincoln Water System and Steve and Donna for their work. and helping put this all together, and also the Mayor's Environmental Task Force, which uh, loves this little program. Are, is there anybody here from the task force? Mark, thank you. Yes, thank you for your part in all of this, too. So uh, with that, let's dig into giving the people of the city uh, an idea, uh, as we do every year, as to how the city water supply looks as we begin looking into the hot summer months. As most of you know, Lincoln's water comes from wells adjacent to the Platte River, and at this time, the volume of that aquifer from which we draw uh, is uh, very normal. We continue to closely monitor the situation, though, throughout the hot season. At this time, we will not be asking residents to follow any mandatory designated day watering schedules. The one factor that is of concern is lower than normal water precip precipitation in the spring of this year, uh, which can lead to a big increase in usage of water since most of it is going to the outdoor watering of lawns and gardens. Many of us remember the drought of 2012. Do you all remember that? Yeah, not much fun, was it? That was the last time that we issued mandatory restrictions. And we've worked hard since then to make sure that we have uh, a, a more adequate water supply during those very tough months. Earlier this spring, we completed a very complicated operation to install 1,500 feet of steel pipe under the Platte River, uh, where we draw our water, uh, to connect another large, what we call uh, collector well, to our water treatment facility down by Ashland. This fourth large collector well is nearing completion and should be available this summer. <clears throat> With this well and a similar one completed in 2014, we will have uh, increased water supply capacity during the drought period of the year, uh, increasing by about 30% of what we could do uh, uh, in, in 2012. So big leap forward there in terms of uh, an available water supply. The current well and pipeline project was made possible through a $7.6 million grant from a state fund this significant cost shows why water conservation continues to be important as we plan for our long-term water supply. So we have a couple of reminders for the public when it comes to water use, uh, advice that's always good. First, remember that city water rates are structured to encourage conservation. You can uh, see the rates as well as the entire management plan at Lincoln dot at water.lincoln.ne.gov. The second reminder deals with outdoor watering. On hot summer days, much more water is used outside watering landscapes than is used inside the homes. Lawn professionals tell us that watering just one or two days a week during dry periods is adequate. We have a lot of great tips to decrease outdoor and indoor water use at that website again, water.lincoln.ne.gov. In general, and this is, this is really a neat fact, I think, about our community. Think about this for a minute. We've been doing a great job with conservation, and by that I don't mean the city, I mean the people of, of the city. Since the early 1980s, Lincoln residents 
have reduced their total per capita water use by 30%. That's huge. That's per person. We've reduced use by 30%. So you all have been doing a great job of, of being conservative with your water. And we need to keep doing that because we live in an area where water is not always adequate. So uh, with that, and before we begin the remarks, I don't think there's any press here, is there? Did you? All right. Then we have one fellow in the room who's now allowed to ask questions on this part of the event, if he's so inclined. Or are you good to go? Pardon me? You covered what I was going to ask, so. All right. They're going to let me off the hook easy here today. That'll make this even more fun for me. <laughs> so let's start in now. Uh, uh, with the awards event, uh, this, this, this is important for not only informing our young people about the situation with respect to water on the Great Plains, but also for uh, informing the public and reminding the public constantly of where we live and what conditions pertain to this area. So uh, this is not just a fun exercise. This is a reminder of our public responsibilities. All right. So now we're going to meet the winners, and uh, I would ask all of the students to come up front when your name is called, and uh, after the award, we, we take a big picture with everybody included. So Peter, I've asked them to go stand over here um, when, when they're done getting their award. When they're done getting their award, okay. So at this time, uh, it's my pleasure to announce the first place winner uh, whose work I think is being featured on the StarTran bus board and also on a poster and also on book, bookmarks. And Acela Rivas is the winner. Is Acela here? Yeah. Oh, wow. That, that drop was loaded with water. <laughs> Congratulations. Did I pronounce your name right? Yes. Congratulations. OK, Acela was from Huntington Elementary, the second place winner, uh, whose work will be displayed on a billboard, a poster, and again, bookmarks. Annabella Skinner of Morley Elementary. And the third place winner, whose work is being featured on a large poster and on bookmarks, is Lalani Morales. Leilani. Others placing in the top 10 will have their work on bookmarks that will be available. These bookmarks are available, I think, at all city and city libraries um, and school libraries, too, I believe. So uh, I'm going to have them come up in alphabetical order, starting with Tristan Bailey of North American Martyrs. Uh, thank you. Reagan Christensen of St. John's Elementary. All right, Alex, you're a ch you're a challenge here. <laughs> Zerzani. No, 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 no. no. Je, yeah. Jean. Jargon. Okay. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Alex. Uh, 
uh, Jackson Holt of North American Martyrs. And Vivian uh, Nguyen, Nguyen of North American Martyrs. North American Martyrs has done well today. <laughs> and then uh, uh, Brenly Sharp. Did I pronounce that right? Okay. And finally, uh, Jarrell Sykes of Eastmont Elementary. That's it. Th all of you young artists, thank you very much for your work. And be sure to thank your teachers and your parents, too, all right? So now, a big picture. That's right. I'm going to be the chief arranger here. So. All right. on the west side here, so if anybody wants to go take pictures or look at that. And then Annabelle's billboard is around 27th and Cornhusker currently. So if you're in the area, look for it. All right, we're gonna have the mayor stand right here. Well, we'll have the mayor in the back. <laughs> Sorry, you're just too tall. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, I've discovered, folks, that the kids are not only getting smarter, they're getting bigger. Yeah. <laughs> now I have fifth graders who are almost as tall as I am. <laughs> All right, we're going to have you guys come forward just a little bit in the back. There we go. Now I'm going to want you to get a little bit closer to the mayor. All right, we're going to stick one more. How about you and Jarrell? Okay. Yeah, right there, and then maybe Jarrell right here. Now what we try to do is to put you guys in between them. So we're gonna have you like with your head right between their heads. Like that. Oh, I'm gonna have you back here because you're a little bit taller over here. Sorry, I don't mean to be I'm like pushy. <laughs> so we're gonna be right here. Ooh. And the back row, move over that way just a bit, everybody. Okay, there we go. And then the front row should show. You might want to turn just a hair. The girls clearly yeah, want no, this competition. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then we're going to have you right here. And need one more in there. Uh, need one more in the back. How about, why don't you come stand right here? How's that look? You see all the faces? On the end with the glasses, can you step this way just a little bit? There, now we can see it. Bring your thing down just a little bit. There we go. Governor. 